So today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on Replica Jazz Club by Maison Martin Margiela, one of their many replica fragrances. If you guys are unaware of the line, they basically take a certain idea, a certain event, or a certain memory, and make it into a fragrance. So by the fireplace, smells like you're sitting by the fireplace, music festival, smells like a music festival at the barbers smells like you're getting your hair cut aromatic fougere that sort of thing that's kind of what they do best very unique very cool and jazz club is one that i've been wanting to try for a really long time but i just never really got around to it and this sample was sent to me by decant x if you're unaware they're a fantastic decant provider you can go over to their website and browse their insane collection they have so many things to choose from and you can grab a nice sample from them anywhere from 2 ml up to 10 ml and even beyond on some fragrances you can get quite a bit from them and it's a great deal this is right here as a 10 ml this will last you about a month if you wear it every single day. So, you know, if you only wear it a couple times a month, this can last you for several months, close to a year, depending on how often you uh, switch through things and wear them, meaning that gives you the opportunity to try a bunch of different fragrances without having to spend a lot of money. Their prices are already very reasonable, but if you use my code CHAOS17, you will get 17% off your order site-wide over there, making it basically a steal. I mean, some of the samples that you can get from them for that price with that 17% off is incredible. If you've been wanting to try out any fragrances, whether it be designer and niche, and you don't want to commit to a full bottle, check out Decant Next. They will be linked down below, along with a link to Jazz Club, so you can grab a sample of this one and try if you want as well. Like I said, I have not smelled this one yet. I'm gonna be doing my first impressions here. Just kind of give you my initial thoughts on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice spray. There we go. Uh, this one apparently gets compared to Dolce & Gabbana, the one, one of the main reasons why I want to try this one so bad. So let's go ahead and see what it's all about. So honestly, right off the bat, it doesn't really smell all that much like Dolce & Gabbana, the one to me. So I would write that one off right away. I'm not getting that similar type of thing. I am getting a tobacco in here for sure. A nice tobacco, a little bit of a citrus floral touch up top. A little bit of a spiciness as well not really getting any amber though and the tobacco amber is one of the main things about Dolce & Gabbana the one that you pick up on but it does smell really nice it's got that masculine sexy tobacco nice fresh top note bit of a spicy kick as well so you get a nice mixture of things here it's not just set on you know just a tobacco or just a citrus which really would make sense but you're really kind of combining a bunch of different notes and accords here to give you a nice balance and when it comes to fragrances it's all about finding a nice balance of you know supporting notes and the main notes and for this one here i would say the citrus the slight floral touch is giving it a nice support along with that spicy kick as well giving me a little bit of a sexy touch so i'm going to go ahead and read off the note breakdown on this one up top we have pink pepper neroli lemon in the mid we have rum clary sage and vetiver and in the base we have tobacco vanilla and styrax so for me definitely that citrus florals coming through up top right off top in the opening but primarily after that it's going to be the tobacco a little bit of that vetiver comes through not too heavy though and it's not a super super strong vetiver it's a bit more of a mild subdued woodiness maybe a little bit of a rum boozy touch in here and that vanilla is kind of buried in the base more to just give a little bit of a creamy support but it's not really coming through to the forefront for me right now i would say that rum really comes through pretty heavily along with the tobacco and that kind of gives it the spiciness along with the pink pepper itself of course but the rum is kind of like a spiced rum for me it smells nice it has a quite a bit of a sweetness to it you know the tobacco isn't really aiding to that more so the vanilla the rum that sort of thing giving it this warmth the sweetness this nice depth to it. it has a bit of a spiciness again even here on skin not really getting a Dolce & Gabbana the one comparison I'm really not which is a good thing because we already have Dolce & Gabbana the one and we have many flankers of that one so it's nice to have something that kind of goes in its own direction here you know maybe I can see where people are coming from you know a lot of it is probably they see the tobacco and I guess they automatically think Dolce & Gabbana the one I don't really know but I would say if you actually really get your nose on this one if you're really familiar with Dolce & Gabbana the one and you're trying this one out you will see that it is quite a bit different even though this one could be used for a date situation 
I would say it's really going to be best suited for kind of daytime going out dressed up, you know, relatively formally, and into the evenings as well, but maybe not necessarily a date. If you're going to a bar, if you're going to a jazz club, an event, something along those lines, this one here would work great. It's classy. It's got that tobacco note. It's got that sexy booziness. It's got that spiciness as well. The nice uh, floral touch, citrus counterbalance. It's really focusing on the rum tobacco mixture. Just giving it a very masculine, upscale, mature type of smell. Really nice for a formal dressed up situation not only in the daytime, but in the evening time as well. I would say if you're a fan of tobacco, if you're a fan of boozy fragrances, if you like a little bit of a vetiver twist in there, a little bit of a sweet vanilla, this is gonna be one that you'll want to check out for sure. Quality on my skin so far is fantastic. It's very smooth, it's very well blended. It can be somewhat hard to kind of pick out some of the different notes just because the blend is really well done. Um, they all kind of work together in harmony to create the scent that it is, which is a nice, smooth, sexy, alluring, inviting scent. I mean, you just look at the color of this stuff right here. Nice, deep pigmentation on the fragrance itself. I mean, that's really reminiscent of how this one's going to smell. Very rich, full-bodied, sweet, warm, inviting, and sexy. This is the type of thing that's really going to draw people in. Here on my skin, it's pushing out a little bit, but it's also kind of staying on the more moderate side, which is perfect for this type of thing. Obviously, I'm not going to go deep into performance in this video because, you know, I haven't had a chance to have this one on my skin, so I can't talk about longevity. I would imagine it would do okay, but projection so far is pretty good you know I could smell it without bringing it up to myself but at the same time I could tell it's one that's gonna leave a nice scent trail in the air as I move my hands around and it wafts around it is one that will linger so this type of thing while it may not project and fill up an entire room with you just standing there if you are making your rounds if you're walking through a room or whatever it is it's gonna leave a trail and that trail will garner you some compliments for sure. This one doesn't really have the mass appeal to it like Dolce Gabbana the one. I mean, that one is just so lovable. It's so easy to get along with. This one may not quite appeal to as many people like that fragrance, but it is still gonna be one that will get you compliments if it's on the right person, if you're dressed properly, if you're carrying yourself the right way. This one will do really well for you in terms of compliments. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. That was my first impressions on Jazz Club. Let me know what you think of this one down below in the description. And remember, if you wanna grab a sample of this or basically any other designer and niche fragrance out there, check out Decant X. They will be linked down below. Use my code CHAOS17 for 17% 17 off your order. Great deal there. Make sure you take advantage of it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.